Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we had a great question on one of our Bootstrap videos and it was how do you center align a logo in Bootstrap 4? Now by default, usually your navbar brands over here to the left, I'll show you in a moment. But uh, they were asking to put it in the center here and I'm pretty surprised that question has not come up before. I don't think I've covered it before and it's a very good question. So let's do this thing. So I'm going to open my text editor. It's brackets. If you don't have a text editor, brackets is absolutely free. You can download it from a link below this video. I'm going to create a new bootstrap template, which is one of the extensions free with brackets here. And there we have it. Let's save this. And I'm going to save it as index.html. We'll call it what you want, but if it's going to be your home page for your site, it's got to be index.html. Great. And while I'm here, I'm going to find a little logo and put it in there so we've got something to use. I guess I'll use the one that I had before. So here's our folder and it's got our little logo in there and our index.html. If we double click on that, it'll open in the browser. And this is what it's given us. And usually by default, I'll put in the logo and it's going to be up on the left hand side there. I'm going to get rid of the search box up there because we really don't need it. So first let's go down. I'll get rid of that form which is a search box. It's not going to help us at all. And I put that logo right inside our root directory where the index.html resides. So to put it in, let's put it right where it says navbar which is the navbar brand over here. So image img source src equals and just need to put some inverted commas in and it's actually found it there logo png because it's in the root folder and i need to close out that pointy bracket there there we go and if you hover over it it should show you now if i save that now control s and go back to the site it should appear over here it's going to be a bit too big for that bar though there we go fine so it's over there and it's forced that bar to be a little bigger. We're going to change all that in a minute. So let's get organized and see what we need to do to actually make this happen. Well, the first thing I want to do is put all this in the middle here. So I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. And if you right click and inspect, it'll show you what you've got there. So if we look over here, we've got untitled class, navbar, margin right, auto. I think to get that in the middle, all I have to do is change that margin right to just margin auto, M auto. Click off it and they should jump to the middle. There we are. There they are in the middle. Fantastic. That's the easy bit. Let's make that permanent in our code here. That's right there. Here's the navbar nav, margin right, auto. So I can just get rid of that right bit so it's just margin auto save that fantastic when i refresh this it should say exactly the same all right to get our little um logo in the middle here let's click on it and see what we've got inspect there's our little image right there well if we look its parent container the navbar brand here is really skinny it's only sort of a tenth of the screen right over here. We really need to make it, let's hover over it again. We need to make it almost full width, not quite full width because we've got a little gap on the left hand side. So let's say, I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna write some CSS in here. Let's say width, I'll say 100 VW, but I'm going to want to take that back. VW being viewable width. Now let's hover over it. And you can see it stretches pretty much the whole of the screen there. Okay, we'll leave that for the moment. Now to force it to be in the middle we want to give it an absolute position and we want to make it right on the top there so let's say 
position. Colon absolute. Okay, and where do we want it? We want it top, colon, zero. That's fine, it's at the top and it's zero. So let's write this into our style, into our HTML. We'll have to do inline style here, control C. Let's go back here. And remember we're dealing with navbar brand. So I'm gonna put it just below what would be your style sheet? You can put it in your style sheet if you want to, just before the closing head tag here. I'm going to write it as on page style, S T Y L E. And in between there, it was navbar brand, which is there. It's a class, so a class always has a dot inside of it, or before it, I should say. And open close some curly brackets. Inside there, I can paste that code that we just wrote. Let's tidy it up a little bit. There we go. Let's save that. We're going to be adding some more in a minute. So we've got that. If I refresh, it should all stay the same. Yep, fantastic. And you'll notice this is popped back in the middle again. So now we need to position this thing and we're actually going to work on the image itself now. And I'm going to say display bot block and then margin auto and that should force it to go to the middle there. Then underneath margin, colon auto. And as you can see, it's popped it right in the middle there. Fantastic. I'm not sure that that is absolutely in the middle. So I'm going to save that. Remember, we're working on navbar brand image. So let's add that to our style sheet. So it was navbar brand again. And then we're working on the image within inside that. So IMG, open and close some curlies. And paste in that bit of code. All right. Now what I'm gonna do here is just to make sure that we're actually centered. Let's save this. If we look at this, I'm going to put a centered one letter right here so we can see exactly where the center is. So let's go back here. Don't worry too much about copying this off the screen while I'm doing it. I'll put it below the video. You're welcome to use it and manipulate it however you wish. So just to get our, make sure that we're in the right place, I'm going to add some more H1 tags here. And in between, I can put a one or an I or whatever you want, just so I can see something that's going to be tell me exactly where the middle of the row is control s to save let's refresh there we go so that's the middle right there and this is slightly off so if we look at our navbar brand here's the width that we put in over here 100 vw i'm going to select it and roll down with my mouse wheel until that looks about right which is probably about there 98 vw fantastic well, let's write that in and get rid of that little I that I put there. Or I guess it doesn't matter because we're not keeping this site, but <laughs> there we go. And up the top with our style, just need to change that to 98. There we go, fantastic. Right, next thing I need to do is actually we need to make our nav bar wide enough to accommodate all this. To do that, I need to put some padding on top of the nav bar here. So let's go, where's the nav bar? Here's the nav bar. Let's say, give it a minimum height of say, we'll try 120 pixels to see if that's gonna do it, min.
Yeah, that's almost there. In fact, that's probably the right amount of height, but I need this to come down a little bit. Yeah, there we are, the nav bar, nav. So let's give it a bit of padding on the top. Try 50 picks, that may be too much. Yeah, I think that's just about right, actually. You can see everything fine there, okay. So again, we've got to remember We are working on the nav bar nav this time. Let's go back to our brackets. Okay, nav bar, nav. Open and close some curly brackets and padding top. Fifty picks. Now we we needed to make our nav bar minimum height of 120 as well. So nav bar, open and close some curlies. Minimum height of 120 pixels. Save that. Control S and refresh our site. There we go. Okay, so everything's working the way we want it to here. We've got our logo in the middle, our menu is available there, but if you look, our bootstrap, our actual text and everything is hidden underneath there. So we need we need to adjust this. We need to adjust our top section here. We need to give it a margin on the top of probably 70 picks, something like that. Let's try it. Let's go back here. This is going to be it right here. So it's actually main class container. Let's give it the class of text. Let's go up here. And because it's a class, txt, we can close some curlies. And we'll try a margin top. And what do we say about 70 pixels? I'm sure that'll be enough. Save that. Back to our site and refresh. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably not enough actually. If we look down, we'll go to where we were. It's right here, the text. Margin top 70, Just select that and roll it up a little bit. You can see where it is at the top there. Gosh, we wanted a lot more. There we go, 119 should do it, 120. Let's go back. Save that, back to the site. Great, everything's working perfectly. Make sure it's going to work on responsive devices. Let's hit the little device toggler over here. That's fine. Is our menu going to work? Okay. <coughs> Nothing's actually happening when we click that menu. And the reason is we've got this section above with this logo in it that's over the top of it. So if we were to push this down a little bit, that should work fine. That's going to be our little nav bar button right there. Or nav bar toggler. Let's push it down by sort of 60 picks or so. So we'll see margin. Top. Try 50, that might do it. See if it's actually toggleable. Toggle toggleable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we want to take it down just a little bit more so it doesn't hop up. So let's say 65. 
There we go, that works perfectly. It's on an iPhone, what's it going to do on an iPad? That's fine, you can see the whole menu there. I'll make that a bit bigger so you can see. Take it off. So we just need to write that last little bit and we're good to go. There's our navbar toggler, it's a class. So it's dot. And we said margin top 65, wasn't it? 65 pixels. Save, control S, back to the site. Refresh, you shouldn't see any change. Let's bring up our Chrome inspector. Let's have a look at it on an iPhone. Make sure that little hamburger menu is gonna work. That's absolutely fine. Logo stayed lovely in the middle there, just where we want it. So there you have it. That is how to centralize your logo on Bootstrap 4. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.